And with this, you can get to work. No, with this, we start baking, baking again. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Bake and Bake. We did it, we're in Texas, we have our house, we have our kitchen. Sweetie. Yeah, your sweetie. I have my sweetie. I have everything I need right now to make the most badass meal you've ever seen. And now, here's the deal, here's the kicker. We already showed you how to make Tres Leches cake, right? Oh, really came out juicy as fuck. Which means, because today is Cinco de Mayo, we can't really go back into that. I know that most of you guys think it's Mexican Independence Day or my birthday because it's Cinco de Mayo, but it doesn't work like that. We're celebrating just a little battle that was won against the French people. That, that was really it. But today, to celebrate that battle, Cinco de Mayo in America, we're of course getting fucked up. That's number one, well, with you, the most delicious mezcal are. in the universe. That's one. Two, because we're in Texas, obviously I can't get high, so I'm just gonna drink. And three, we're gonna make Mexican rice. It is the most delicious plate growing up in Mexico that I've ever had, and it's the only thing I know how to make from scratch, and I'm fucking amazing at it, so you don't fucking question my techniques, right? It's the only thing you learned during quarantine. Oh, that and also, by the time, last time we saw each other, I was obese. <laughs> so, yes, this is me, the I'll new Alejandro. I'll do a throwback. Sweetie, 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 sweetie. I don't think anyone wants to watch you. Doing this. <laughs> Babe, I'm wearing my sexy loafers. <laughs> Let's go! So, before I take a shot, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go hide somewhere and then take a little shot, Sergio, so we can get started. I'll be right back. Ah! So again, we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo, so we're making this a very Mexican episode. We're having some mezcal, but while we're letting the rice simmer a little bit and just uh, get ready for everything, we're gonna show you also how to make a delicious mezcalita, which is like a margarita with mezcal elevated to the next level. Lots of textures, lots of this deliciousness. It's and spicy. Babe, it's spicy, it's spicy. But babe, you were telling me that these are the same colors as the Italian flag, and I was telling Belen, that's exactly why we're doing this, because I'm both Italian and Mexican, everybody knows that 7.8%, according to 23andMe, Italian, that validates it. Sweetie, do you want the red one, white one, or the green one? I'm gonna go with the red one. I bet you were, because you're spicy. <laughs> Sergio, what are you taking, white? I'll take the white, I'll go green with your outfit. Look at you. Thank and also, by the way, to everybody, uh, Amphora made these great company, they fucking kill it, they made a lot of ceramic stuff, it's pretty much everything you see back there, and all silverware, and they they also sell these liquor sets. They're incredible, it's not a plug, my boy owns the company, Company. He only has a thousand employees, so please help him out. Cheers. Cheers. On to the motherfucking rice. Well, while you get your, your little camera ready, babe, for yourself or whatever the fuck you're taking. I was... Don't worry about me. Okay. A double shot. It was a little. You have a problem. So, sweetie, what are we gonna need for this rice? White rice. I'm not racist. I actually, I don't know what kind of rice that is, but uh, we're using it. It's just plain white rice. Caucasian, babe, please. There's a this bunch of rice. There's jasmine rice. There's basmati. Just white rice. She clearly read a couple of fucking rice recipes. Anyways, babe, go on. Tomatoes, onion, garlic, jalapeno, parsley, olive oil, salt. My sweetie. 
And what about, uh, uh, what are we gonna use to make it? <laughs> well, proceed to that. Sweetie. You distracted me. Scientific measuring cup. A knife. I don't think we need that kind of knife. <laughs> Cutting board. A large pot with a lid. That's it? That's Whoa, it. This is really simple. I bet you guys are loving the recipe. So, I don't know why I'm talking like a TV host, but we should get started, sweetie. Oh, wait, we forgot something. No, we didn't. Yes, we did, the Vitamix. Oh, uh, no, no. You haven't gotten... We, we need the did. Vitamix, you have to blend We it. did. Cut, rewind, take me back to the last ingredient and now do the final one. A Vitamix or a blender. I, I, I don't know what the difference is, but this looks really nice. All right, let's get this party started, sweetie. I'm gonna pour myself another a shot. A third shot, because you took mine. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't think I should be still drinking, but oh let's go, because we're still making margaritas. Step number Mescalitas. one. Mescalitas. Mescalitas, margaritas. Look at these, Chinese, Japanese. Okay, let's move Squeeze on. these. Uh, excuse okay. me, sweetie. Excuse, excuse me, this excuse is me. My you don't know how to cook. Uh, <laughs> he knows one dish. But it's so good. It makes up for not knowing anything else. So here we go. The first thing's first. It's really simple. You're gonna put on the fire back here and start preheating. Liquor set. Your pot at medium. While you're doing that, you're gonna grab your rice, and normally, this is what I would say, I, for a meal for two, or even for three people, I would only use one cup, but I'm gonna use two cups, because Sergio eats quite a lot. Hey, you're not wrong. <laughs> Me too, by the way, it's, uh, it's fucking delicious. So we're using two cups, and as a rule of thumb, when you're cooking rice, if you're using two cups of rice, you wanna use four cups of water for the next step. So don't worry about it, we'll get there, I'll be gentle. All right, so once we have the rice, we're gonna separate that. We're gonna start prepping everything that's gonna go in the Vitamix while the pot's getting some heat. Yeah, yeah, getting heated, whatever it is. Getting horny heated. We're gonna take these, remove these from the tomatoes because nobody fucking needs these bullshit green things. I don't know what they are, but you know, it's naked. Oh my God. These are very sharp knives, guys. As a recommendation, when you're using a sharp knife, uh, don't be buzzed. Yeah, don't be really fucked up and uh, be able to do things. There you go. So we cleaned that. The reason why I'm using three tomatoes, again, you want to use probably half of what I'm doing for a regular serving of two people, is because we're making it for four people. That's. So you double up on everything. And now what we're going to do with these tomatoes, Sergio, come here, get closer. Look at me, because this, this is where the magic happens. Look at this. You know that guy with the grain of salt that throws all that's of his not, shit? That's, not that's me right now. Look at that, you see that? Salt there you go, exactly, that guy. So we're gonna split them in fours, and if there are any hard areas, like right here, you wanna eliminate those. You don't have to, but do you really wanna do things right? Or do you just wanna keep cooking at a mediocre level? Oh, okay. Mister, I know one dish. I am the Tom Brady of rice making. Wow, what an achievement. I know. You should really tell people that. I, I, I just did, thank you, sweetie, for No, you me. should put it in your bio, too. I, you know what? I will. Right after this, probably by the time this episode hits the streets, it's gonna be there on my bio on Instagram. Go check it out. Probably the one on YouTube too. So there you go. I'm eliminating these little hearts or hard pieces of shit that are in the tomatoes. I don't know what they are. So we're gonna load everything in the Vitamix. Great job. Then you do it. God, with your commentary and your bantering. Uh, that's a lot. It's a lot of tomatoes? Yeah. Oh, hang on, yeah, that's, that's way too much. I told you. So we're most likely only gonna use this. Okay. There you go. So, so do you wanna chop the onion now? Cause it's gonna make me cry, so. I'll chop the onion up and up. Well, I chopped the onion. I'm gonna tell you guys a really sad story. I remember back in 1959. No, it's like every grandma has like a, a really sad story all the time. They always like talk to you and they're like, oh, let me tell you the story about my life. And it's so tragic. You're like, grandma, don't you have any uplifting stories? Yeah, when they talk about Woodstock. Well, I guess my family did not go to Woodstock, sweetie, like yours, so. Pitbull, what's wrong? No. Pretty, you're getting distracted. This is a cooking show, not a fucking dog show. Well, your story never never got started. I never, never, never did. Never did, did it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this in half. Yeah, I, I can feel the Fiona's tail, tail just hitting me between the balls. It is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Like well, Maybe. they hang quite low. I'm getting old too. Oh yeah, the other day I walked, I walked, in, I walked into the bedroom and he was sitting on our couch with his legs crossed and I go, wow, you're such, you're such a lady. And he goes, well, I'm Go ahead and finish it, sweetie. You seem to be very excited about this. He said, well, my, 
<laughs> My balls are hanging really low these days. Just like what Kevin Hart said. It is true. Here's a quarter of the onion. Just like that. Don't worry about it. The vitamins will take care of it. If your blender's not good enough, just remember you're not good enough. So get a good blender. And we need the garlic, sweetie. Don't right forget there, about sweetie. the garlic. Don't it's already pre made. Huh? You like that? You like that, guys? That's right. I split it in half. That's, good job, sweetie. That's how I roll. So that's the only thing that's gonna go in the blender. Yep. And you're gonna take that blender and put it in the Vitamix station. Meanwhile, our pot has been heating up and we're gonna throw this in there and have the olive oil ready and bring it with you. Don't forget your little spoons. We didn't talk about the spoon. We need a wood spoon. Wooden spoon because it's the best, it won't fuck with the taste and uh, it's the only thing that I could afford. So, wooden spoon. And it doesn't scratch. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I knew that. He did. Here we go. Okay, should I oh. share the vitamins? Sweetie, let me just do this, and then people will see how sizzling hot that is just by me adding. How much guys, oil? You just, uh, you know, uh, add a good eye, just throw whatever that was compared to whatever you're making, and then just go like this. And now the game, the whole secret about making rice, sweetie, is like our relationship. You always gotta keep moving it, gotta keep it interesting, right? So you're just gonna stay in the kitchen for an hour. I'm waiting for you to. Keep it interesting. All right, well, I'm gonna be doing this until the rice starts to look like it's burnt, and I'll show you right now. Sergio, take a look at the rice right now, because to me, the most important thing, if you want to learn how to cook properly, is what are the, the signs that your shit's getting ready? And I'll show you what the signs are. You guys saw the rice right now, I'll show you the after. Meanwhile, babe, please hit it and show everybody the powerful Vitamix that we have. Oh, great job, Helen. Yeah, that's right. Where'd you get this stuff from? Came with it. Oh. It the other one had it. Sorry, it just looked like something else. Oh, yeah. Once it's all blended, it basically looks like gazpacho. I mean, gazpacho is just a bunch of tomatoes. What's gazpacho? Anyways. Gazpacho is just a bunch of tomatoes. You're so tomato full of shit. shit. I looked it up online and it's not. It's part of the QAnon Q &N plan to take over the world through Q. So, that's right. You're woke. Welcome to the channel. So come here, take a look at how it's getting a little golden. So you don't want to burn it, but in a way, at this stage, it doesn't really matter if it starts to look a little burnt. And I'll say that with all the freedom in the world, and if anybody's got a fucking problem, we're gonna fucking fight about it. I will say it's called browning your rice. This is the technical term. If you want to wow. let them know what it's called. So here's the deal. Fuck you, Sergio. <laughs> so now we're getting close to the final product. We're actually really there. So the rice got brownified or Mexicanized. So now it's got some color. This is what we're gonna do. Before it gets like burnt and you start seeing black, it's all nice and brown. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit because the splashes are real. Sweetie, what are the splashes? Well, the splashes are when he pours the liquid tomatoes into the pot, it splashes everywhere because he hasn't learned how to control it. Uh, exactly, so if you're watching this and you can tell me how to control it, I already put the fire down a little bit, but it's Look never it. enough. This is what I do because it's quite scary and it burns me quite a lot. Yeah, a lot of people Normally, to make this. Wait, is it the boiling that burns you? Or is it just splashing? It literally Just watch splashes. me, you ready? And then that vapor is fucking tremendous. I didn't see a single splash. So this is the first time I've ever lowered the temperature before oh pouring it in. God. And that really did it. Ah! <laughs> ah, that's really hot. So watch out, don't put your face in here when you drop it and go like, oh, it smells great because you'll burn your fucking face. So now, the whole game here is, look at what, what I'm doing right now. You see the burbling and all this stuff? You can bring the rice, the temperature up a little bit to medium temperature. That's right, thank you, sweetie. My balls need some space. Uh, I'll clean it up later. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let this dry and absorb um, and let the rice absorb the liquid, the tomato sauce and all that good stuff that you're seeing right there. That smells fucking delicious. And then we'll do the next step. I don't know, I think you should be crying. 
but we'll be right back. So you see how the, the, the water is being absorbed by the rice, the actual sauce? That's what you want. You want all of it to be absorbed by it and keep moving it, moving it, moving it. Don't let it sit, sit. Holy shit. I'm a little, I'm a little happy right now, Sergio. And we still gotta make the margaritas. Well, mescalitas. So uh, mm -hmm. good luck, everybody. So now you're looking at the bottom, it's starting to get a little rough. Before it's burnt, it's right the perfect timing for you to go into the next step which is if you had one cup of rice, you're gonna throw two cups of water. We had two cups of rice, so we're gonna throw four cups of water. And here we go. This is two. Sweetie, yeah, sweetie, right. get another two quickly. It's very exciting. So here it goes with another two cups, double that number. And now here, you wanna make sure that nothing is stuck to the bottom because then it's gonna to start to burn weird Whatever that means, you'll know if you fuck it up. So don't fuck it up like I have. And uh, while, while that is in a medium fire, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab the jalapenos. I'm gonna take off the top on each one of them. Look at me. And then this is what I'm gonna do. Please careful, make sure please. to be careful guys and don't be as drunk as I am doing this. Drunk. So you saw one, two. Why are you so scared, Sergio? The insurance just three. Okay. <laughs> the insurance. <laughs> Ooh, four. And then you want to take down this, and that's one. And by the way, this is not super spicy. If you really want to make it super spicy, I would add three. So if you're doing one cup of rice, I would do one cup if you want a medium spice and you want to taste it. If you want it spicy, do two. If you're doing two cups, do four. And then the parsley, you wanna get, get rid of as much stem as possible. It's a personal preference. I think it's fucking stupid for the people that <laughs> throw a lot of fucking stems in there because they're just getting in the way. You wanna eat the good stuff. All right, so this is all the parsley I have. This is what I'm gonna do. You need like this for the two cups. You're gonna bring it here. And I like to do wow. that. It releases flavor, scent, and more stuff. Throws it everywhere. You throw it everywhere, you throw it everywhere, exactly. Then the next step is you grab your jalapenos, throw them there. Ah! No. And then, sweetie, can I have a golden spoon? Yes, I can. I'll just grab it by myself because Dolani is really committed to the show. And just make sure that your spoon is completely made out of gold. It's not completely made out of gold. <laughs> So. Babe, we're YouTubers. We gotta pretend that we own this stuff, like the house. Come on, that we're renting from, from your uncle. So here, you're gonna grab one of these. Be careful with the salt. How much salt? And if you're doing one, uh, uh, one cup, do one. If you're doing two, do one and uh, three quarters. One of what? Uh, one spoon, like full spoon. You're you're looking at me. I'm drunk now. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna press on those jalapenos. This is a personal little tip, so just make sure if you're doing this. Is this a pro tip? Incredibly, this is a fucking mega pro, trip, pro tip. Oh, <laughs> God. Press those jalapenos and moving around so that all the seeds go everywhere. And it gets spicy evenly everywhere. And then you wanna shake this, just literally like this. Make sure that everything combines with everything. And, Oh. Not All right, done. Uh, and just let it be until it starts to bubble. Once it starts to bubble, you need oil? bubble, bubble. I said bubble. I want to make sure that I said bubble. Did I say bubble, Sergeant? You did. Babe, did I say bubble? You wrongly said bubble. Okay, so we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna wait until this bubbles. And uh, for now, let's go over here, and I'll show you how to make margarita so I can continue to get even more obliterated. We're live, all right. So here, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna need the best mezcal that Earth has ever given birth to, which is mezcal aileron. Don't worry about it, you can't find it in the US yet. Uh, so, it's not, so this is not really a plug, yeah, but soon you'll find it. But uh, uh, we're gonna grab three shots 
and we're gonna put them in a mixer. That should be full of ice, but it's not. But we're gonna- No, 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 hold on. Cut! So we're gonna grab three of these shots of Aileron. One. You wanna use two. That? I could have used that, but I don't care for those real measurements in the real world. You guys should. I don't, because I'm an alcoholic. There's three right there. Now, the next step is you're gonna grab some uh, uh, miel de agave, which is agave honey, and you're gonna use, if you use three shots, one and a half shots of this. So here we go. Ready, sweetie? Okay. One, okay. We go, there's one, there's half, and we're gonna do one and a half uh, shots of lemon juice. So, sweetie, where's the line? Lemon or lime? Lo lo the, those. The like green? The ones. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the American it's version. It's a Mexican issue. Which one's which? This is the lime, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're grabbing the lime. Yeah, there you go, sweetie. Yeah, yeah. Do you have that squeezer? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she does. But also this one. Thank you, sweetie. Watch out with the knife. I'm scared. We should be. Okay, here we go. Make sure to have Your a... rice is bubbling, by the way. Well, don't worry about it. Oh, boy. Okay. We're in a race against time, people. Don't worry about it. Why don't I do that while you take care of the rice? Let me look at it <laughs> while you do that. Please do one and a half of these. Yeah, it's, it's bubbling, but not there yet. That's good. <laughs> Sweetie, it's quite hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But this is what's worth it. If you do it with the lemon, which is the big one that you gringos like to use, it's not gonna be the same. You wanna have the Mexican experience? You're gonna do the lime. Because that's what fucking churro mais con limoncito has. So there's one and a half in here. Then, we're gonna grab Do you some. want it? Would you like it chopped? Because I also have an option as chopped for you. Absolutely not, that's for fucking rookies. You're gonna grab some of these heads, and this is most likely what it's gonna be for three people. I love cilantro, so feel Watch free me. To... You wanna go with this? Here. Now, where's the serrano pepper, sweetie? Right in front of you, sweetie. That's right. So you're gonna grab that serrano pepper, cut the top, cut the bottom, and now, it's gonna cut it in fine slices. If you don't like spicy shit, you're gonna get rid of the the middle stuff. This is what starts to really get you. So if you're like Sergio and Belen. I love it spicy. What are you okay. talking about? We're gonna keep it a little spicy, Sergio. Just like that. How about that? So we can sacrifice a little bit for you. Perfect. I appreciate it. Throw those in there. You grab the top of the shaker. Shake, shake, shake. And see that's really boiling now you can really start to see it and what we're gonna do is put it all the way down to the lowest fire you possibly can and as you see cover it for 20 minutes and see where that takes us I'm gonna put a timer on right now oh my god there's someone in the backyard oh is it right sorry this is this is a new house I'll see you guys in, oh no, we gotta see the margaritas. Come with me to check out the margaritas. Sweetie, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know how to use this or what the difference is. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. You take the top off. You... And then you, no, you flip it around. And that should fit into there. In here? Yeah. Where? No, that's fucking crazy. It no. should, but I mean, you can. No, why don't you do it then, sweetie? I don't know how to do it. I just bought it because it matched. Oh, Sergio? you just bought it because it matched. Kit, it's a kit. Like, like this. that? No. So I'm just saying that it should go. That should go inside. inside. The, the springy thing? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Because it fully drains it. That's one. I don't think this is going to be three. I think it's four. I think it's going to be two. It's two. <laughs> okay. And uh, well, now we know how much is two. Should we taste it to see if it's good? Wait, wait, wait. I feel like it's gonna be really spicy. It's probably gonna be a good thing that. Oh. <laughs> what a good. <laughs> that is the most ghetto garnish you've ever seen. Literally. Well, that's. Cheers. 
Cheers, Happy Mimi. Cinco de Mayo. Feliz Cinco de Mayo, which is not Independence Day. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, dude. Phenomenal. Yeah. It's I know not, what I'm doing. Spicy. I know what I'm doing. Go to mezcalaileron.com and there's some recipes with mezcal. They're so much better than with tequila. Tequila doesn't have all the dimensions that mezcal has, and I'm not trying to sell you on this. It's truly for your own fucking good. Now, if you're gonna buy any shitty mezcal that they sell in the US, it's probably gonna be too smoky, but ours, give me mine. We, we don't roll like that. Sweetie, enjoy. Thank you, sweetie. We'll see you when the rice is ready. So after your timer's done, this is the way you're gonna make sure. Sweetie, can you please stop making noise with the papitas? I wish it was papitas. All right, here we go. I don't know if this is hot. Oh, no, it's the Croissant technology. <laughs> So we're gonna go do that, open, and you're gonna stick this and make sure there's no water at the bottom. If there's water at the bottom, that means you're done. All right, we're done. There is no water at the bottom here. See that? We're gonna leave it covered under the fire for five minutes. Alexa, set up a timer for five minutes. So she speaks English. She hates you. Alexa, set up a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. I have an American passport now. Alexa understands me. We'll see you in five minutes. All right, so after five minutes, we're just gonna open this up. Wow. Let it breathe. And Alexa, set up a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. See, now she knows I'm American, so we're all good. I'll see you guys in five minutes. I think this is the first time I'm actually buzzed on a baking bake, so. <laughs> well, I can't tell you what I, I am. too. Well, let me tell you this. <laughs> this is ready after another five minutes of letting it sit. Now you can just mix your rice. Wow. And there's nothing burnt at the bottom, as you can tell, sweetie. Sweetie, are you gonna try it? You want me to try it? Oh, I think you should try it because I'm a little biased towards my own cooking, right? Obviously. Sergio, you should try it too. Here. It's really warm, so. Oh gosh. Let it cool for a second. I just want to remind everybody that this is the greatest rice of all time. That's pretty good. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. It came out really good. Happy really fucking good. Cinco de Mayo, motherfuckers. Now you know how to make the most badass, most Mexican rice you've ever had. And an incredible mezcalita. Incredible. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oh, oh. It turned out really good. <laughs> we did it. We did it. You did it. You did it. That's right, fucking bitches. He's the Tom Brady of rice, people. Wow, look at him go, look at him go. <laughs>